This video shows how to conduct a Pearson correlation in R. After importing your data, you will start with the core.test function. No additional packages are needed and you can start right away. Remember the requirement of interval or ratio scaled variables for the Pearson correlation. Add the two variables you want to correlate into the core.test function separated by commas. Don't forget the data frame and dollar sign in front of each. Pearson will be calculated by default. You can of course still add method equals and within quotation marks Pearson. By default, testing will be two-sided, meaning you are not sure whether to expect a positive or negative correlation. If you are testing one-sided, you can specify the alternative hypothesis here with the argument alternative equals. Use greater within quotation marks if you expect a correlation greater than zero, aka a positive correlation. Use less within quotation marks if you expect a correlation less than zero, aka a negative correlation. Finally, if you require a confidence interval other than the 95% one, you can use conf.level. I will run the two-sided calculation now, even though I could justify testing one-sided. The output will reveal the t-value, degrees of freedom and the p-value at the top. Furthermore, you will get your confidence interval below and the correlation coefficient at the bottom. First, I'll focus on the p-value. If it is below the predefined threshold, for example 0.05, the null hypothesis can be rejected. Reminder, the null hypothesis assumes no correlation, neither positive nor negative, between your two variables. In my case, I defined alpha as 0.05 and can therefore reject the null hypothesis because my rounded p-value for a two-sided test is 7.9 times 10 to the negative 8. Note, the one-sided p-value will always be half of the two-sided p-value, in case you specified the correct alternative hypothesis. Second, the correlation coefficient should be looked at. Here it is 0.669. A positive correlation can therefore be observed, meaning you have a positive association between height and weight. This could mean that either taller human beings are heavier or the other way around. Please always keep in mind that correlation does not imply causation. Furthermore, a small p-value does not tell you about the magnitude of the correlation, aka effect. The magnitude of the correlation is the correlation coefficient itself. Compare it with existing studies or use research field specific thresholds to classify your correlation coefficient. If neither exists, you can fall back to Cohen 92 A power primer and use the thresholds on page 157, 0 0.1, 0 0.3 and 0 0.5 for small, medium and large effect sizes. My correlation of 0.669 is well above the threshold of 0.5, making it a large effect. 